If Bill 397 is signed into law by the governor, it will restrict the use of mobile phones while operating a vehicle on Guam's roads. There are some exceptions to the rule, however. For example, the bill allows drivers to use their cell phone to make 911 calls. Communications related to commercial transportation operations are also allowed along with ham radios. The bill does also allow drivers to use cell phones with a hands-free device. If the bill is signed into law, anyone caught even holding a mobile phone while driving will be punished by a $100 fine for the first offense and a $500 fine for repeat offenses. If it is found that the use of a cell phone contributed to the cause of an accident, the driver will be fined $1,000 and could have their license suspended or even revoked. Lawmakers passed a total of 13 bills while rejecting only one. Bill 158 failed, which would have established an urgent care center for outpatient medical services within the Guam Memorial Hospital. Bill 362, or the Bicycle Safety Act of 2012, was passed requiring bicycle riders on Guam's roads or sidewalks who are under the age of 16 to wear helmets. Bill 400 was passed unanimously allowing the Guam Parole Board to deliberate and vote in private under certain circumstances. Bill 341 was passed which would give mayors the authority to close non-routed roads for village funerals, fiestas and other events. The bill abolishing the office of the Adequate Education Surahanu or Bill 248 was also passed this morning. Other bills passed included Bill 289, or the Disaster Service Volunteer Leave Act, Bill 190, which allows certified private instructors to administer the road test for driver's licenses, Bill 276, which requires public health to conduct a feasibility study on providing after-hour urgent care services in public health centers. Bill 300, amending the authorization of the Department of Agriculture to administer and collect fees, Bill 326 requiring all GovGuam agencies to accept applications, filings and forms for services via the internet and Bill 399 which is relative to survivor annuities.